On the eastern slopes of the Spessart Hills, surrounded by dense forest, the town of Lohr has a history spanning over 700 years and an unusual claim to fame. The earliest mention of Lohr dates back to 1295, when it belonged to the Counts of Rieneck. Just 38 years later, it was given the right to build fortifications. Few of these fortifications now remain, as by the 19th century they were an unnecessary hindrance to traffic. The so-called Bayer Tower escaped demolition as it wasn't in the way. It was a watchtower, and the warden's job was to warn citizens of things like enemy attacks and fires. He lived in the tower with his family and, believe it or not, his goats. For 200 years, the job of warden fell to successive members of the Bayer family, hence the name of the tower. The tower stands at the entrance to the fishermen's quarter. This whole area has the status of protected monument. Fishing was important for the town, which is situated on the river Main. Located in another part of town were all the smelly, dirty professions, the butchers, the tanners and the dyers. An underground stream used to pass through here, powering water mills. In 1559, when the last of the Counts of Rieneck died, Lohr was taken over by the Archbishopric of Mainz, and any time you see a six-spoked wheel, it's a reference to Mainz. The Crown Inn dates from 1567 and has survived almost unchanged. The old town hall was under construction from 1599 to 1602, a time when Law had become a wealthy and important town. The arches were originally open, as the ground floor was used as a covered market. These days, the building is used for cultural and educational activities, a new town hall was built elsewhere in 1985. This pharmacy was run by a certain Karl Heinz Bartel, who had become convinced that Lohr was the birthplace of the young woman who later inspired the story of Snow White. There are many other places that claim this honour, but Bartel's theory is definitely persuasive. There are several pieces to this puzzle. The first is in a very unexpected place. Modern Law is home to global engineering company Bosch Rexroth. But one corner of the complex was once a mirror factory, which first opened in 1698. Mirrors from Law were of especially high quality. Sometimes they had phrases engraved on them, and these were known as talking mirrors. One person who certainly appreciated them was Philipp Christoph von Ertal, a high-ranking official in the Archbishopric of Mainz. He lived in the local Schloss, originally built as a residence for the Counts of Rieneck. It is now a museum, and its main attraction is an actual talking mirror, which von Ertal may have given as a gift to his second wife. Even if you don't believe this story, you have to admit the Schloss certainly looks like a fairy tale castle. 
Von Ertal's daughter from his first marriage was called Maria Sophia Margareta Katharina, born in 1725. When she was 16, her mother died. A couple of years later, her father married a woman who was said to be a control freak. A hiking trail marked by this symbol traces the route which, according to the theory, Maria might have taken when she ran away from home. It leads past these modern Stations of the Cross to this 16th century chapel, where we could imagine the young woman taking one last look at her old town. From here, the trail stretches 35 kilometers through thick, dark and dangerous forests and over seven hills, exactly as described in the original version of the story, to the silver, copper and lead mines at Bieber. The final piece in the puzzle is this. Because the mines were so cramped, the people who worked them were either children or dwarfs. There's no actual proof that Maria was the original Snow White, but it's still a great story. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not send me a postcard? Here's the address. Or visit rubos.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my blog.